Welcome back to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on Vegas on NetRadio.com. Shout out to our viewers on Ustream. We've got Black Ring, who's sticking with us. Alexia, of course, that's me uh, monitoring the chat. Jessica Vegas, uh, they want to know, um, are you working tomorrow night? Right? Tomorrow night? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. You uh, are working? Let us know. No, and uh, of them oh. thick who is also I Love BBW over on Twitter. Thanks for joining us. He says that this may be our best, most important episode ever. I Ven- agree. Vendetta says uh, he does not have a picture of that, but if it ever happens again, he will snap one. Uh, we have decided that when you come to town, Vendetta, we are taking you to all the sex clubs we can find. And I am going <laughs> to take pictures! <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Wendy of Neverland uh, laughed that you said whizzed. <laughs> <laughs> and then we lost one. We had one, and then we lost one, and they come and they go. All right. So who's got catch up first? It's going to be a whirlwind of catch ups. I'll do mine. Okay. I'm We're recording, en- right? Wait. Yeah. I'm going to entitle this catch up um, a line from a movie, and you all may know this line from this movie, and it is, "Where does he get those wonderful toys?" <laughs> <laughs> Batman. Batman. So y'all remember I talked about the masseuse? Yes. He has a new name. Batman. Okay. Now, I have consistently... Because he's a utility belt. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have consistently seen Batman for my, my cleaning and my, my stress relief once a week for the last three weeks, okay? Now, it's you guys, this is so fun because he's one of those guys that, like any size woman, and I am the biggest woman he's ever been with, but I think maybe he's converted, okay? Because <laughs> he, You ruined another one. No, he just loves to, like, touch it all, and, and, and he's smearing oil all over all my chubby rolls and lotion. He goes like, oh, you're dry. You need your back lotioned up. So I had text him today. I'm like, I got a sunburn. When you lotion me? <laughs> but anyway, he, he has these toys, and he never lets me see the toys. It's like a big secret as to what toy he brings out. I never see these toys. I just know that every time it's been a different toy or two. And it's been really fun. <laughs> so um, Goes into the bat cave. Yeah. Brings and, out and, the oh bat wait, dildo. This is no lie because one time, we, well, we were up in a, in a bedroom upstairs. And then um, he went to a closet. And he's like, don't look, don't look. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so then the next time we were set up, it was so funny. He had like this this really nice thick mattress on the living room floor when I got there, and and at one point he goes, "Don't look, don't look!" And I see him go behind the sofa and bring something. So he's got this. St- then another time he had it in a drawer. So he like prepares. Wait, wait, is he that excited when he says, "Don't look, don't look"? Oh yes. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. And he's like, and he's just like touching all the. It's fat. like a play date when it's you go so over to see him. Fun. <laughs> and he's touching. And he's going, God, you know, you're you're a big woman and you're so soft. And and a couple times ago that I was over there, like we hadn't done anything from the back. I don't think he really, because he was just so intrigued with everything up front and everything between my legs. Well, when I stood up, <laughs> I was bent over a chair and he was like in the kitchen and there was like a, you know, like a wall you could see through. And I bent over and he's going, stop, stop, stop. And I stayed there and he's like. I just have to. I can't. Like, we had already, like, had sex, like, 80 times already, you know? (laughs) And, like, he's like, wow, this ass, you know? So he, I'm enjoying the fact that he's, like, this is all new to him. He's completely enamored with you right now. Yeah, it's like he's, you know, he's such, and he takes pictures. I think I showed you guys some pictures. Yes, we did see some very juicy So anyway, I I, don't ever ask me if we're going to be anything more than fuck buddies, because we won't. I am way okay for texting and go. Hmm. You home tonight? <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah. So by I think I went over there last Thursday night, and by the time and by that time our buddy was awake, and and I was feeling like okay, now I can go get a stress reliever. So <laughs> I am just having the a great time with good, this guy because he's good. having fun, and you know I'm such a pleaser. So <laughs> what else is going on? Oh, I don't know if you know it, but on National Geographic there is a new TV show called Polygamy USA. Uh oh! Oh, it's a yes. mo- it's a show just for sweet cheeks. It is, and it's about a polygamous group um, in Centennial Park, Utah, uh, Arizona, Northern Arizona. But it's really good if you guys really want to see. Like these, they're they're based in religion, but they've got very modern houses. They allow them to drink wine, you know, socially. And it's not a jo- uh, uh, no, it's not it's not an uh, FLDS. Okay, but it is of Mormon faith. So okay. you know, you know, I happen to hold like the whole polygamy idea, but I happen to know think what keeps them 
them together is their faith. Right. Okay. But it's really interesting, and I'm really just kind of learning a lot about. Um, and you know I love that shit. So yeah. it's it's really interesting. Did have I ever asked you would you do it the other way where you have several husbands and you're the only wife? Jeez, how many times a week can I fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, forget it. you'd have to hire me a maid and someone, you know, to do everything else because if I had a couple of husbands, I'd just be on my back all the time, right? <laughs> but I do it, hell yeah. Who wants to do it? <laughs> I'm there. Bite them up, huh? Mom's as long down. as they're paying my, my mortgage and my light bill, <laughs> we're good with all that. Mama's down for it. But you know what? It makes me think. Um, I was recently talking to a friend of mine who's like, I want to be married, but I want to be able to fuck anybody I want. And I was like, good luck with that. Yeah. And, and he says, no, I don't think so. But it made me think that people... Um, I mean, these people grew up in a polygamist lifestyle. So their mothers, their grandmothers, their great grandmothers. So it's inbred in them and they still have the jealousy issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's a spirit. They really believe that this is God's will and whatever. So I mean, that jealousy doesn't go away, but they have something that keeps them there. That's hard to do in the real world mm-hmm. when you don't have some kind of long term, um, you know, uh, vision belief. or history of it or positive history from it. And you don't have that religious belief. So I think that's a tough want to have right. for somebody not to be there. But I also have to say that today is a really depressing day and it's a very exciting day. Which would you like to hear first? It's depressing. Game of Thrones, I got it. That's it, Daddy. What? It's the last episode of Game of Thrones today. It is. For the season. so sad. I watched the other one today, just the Red Wedding. (sighs) Okay, let's not talk. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. Okay, he was, uh, yeah, I was Oh, don't get on, don't get on social media then, because they told on, Dunt told everything. Oh, and it was on, I mean, every radio station I put on Monday morning was talking about it. It was that I mean, they people I know. about Good Morning America, for God's sake. Yeah, sakes. and I get people that know I watch it that they don't. And they like, what happened on Game of Thrones last night? Okay, yeah. talk right. to me in about two hours. Okay, we'll talk. Okay, Daddy? Okay. And then what's really good, though, I'm really excited. El Pollo Loco has now put chicken nachos back on their menu. Because, <laughs> no lie, two years ago, they took it off their menu to put some stupid sandwich on. And I called the corporate office. You took nachos off your fucking menu. We're sorry, ma'am. And they sent me like $30 in free meal stuff. Haven't been back to El Pollo Loco since I used the $30. So today I'm like, let me just try and see what their new menu is. And there's nachos back on the menu. So that kind of makes up for the Game of Thrones thing. That is that that is such a fatty news story. That is. I don't care, but it made me so happy. Um, got a new trial starting tomorrow. Jury selection starts in Florida for George Zimmerman. That is the man who shot Trayvon mm-hmm. Martin. And, and that I, will be televised? That will be televised because it's in Florida and... And jury selection starts tomorrow. I do got to tell you with this one, girls, that and gentlemen, um, that I'm not sure. I mean, Jody Arias, Casey Anthony, Scott Peterson, I kind of knew who was guilty. I think this one could go either way. I'm going to have to really watch all the reviews and and the testimony. And, I'll be and upset me. if I'll be upset if it goes the wrong way. Because, well. But I don't know what the right way is because I haven't heard. I I see just from what's out there right now. I see both sides. Okay. I saw. So, I saw. I saw and heard of a man who confronted somebody, and as soon as the dude left, he chased him down. Are he, you talking about this case? Yes. I have he not. Chased, he chased down this victim, whether he was doing right or doing wrong. He decided instead of alerting people to what was going on and calling it done. He decided to take the law in his own hand, and he was going to go and apprehend this person. Okay, I, I, I think you need to listen to testimony, because I've been listening to all this forever, and I've never heard the statement that he tracked him down. The The 911 did tell him, lay back and wait for the police to come, and he did follow him and watch him. He didn't track him down, and he didn't chase him that we know of. That's what I'm saying. Keep an open mind, and let's listen to testimony, because all we've heard is the media, and we have not heard actual testimony in what, court. If somebody, if somebody was tracking me, and watching me, you know what? You know what? Get the fuck off my ass. You know what? Um, I don't and, know that. He, I nice, don't know. Wait a minute. There's a, nice a difference guy, between. But I look me. But again, you're you're drawing a conclusion without hearing the facts. And and what our what our system does in the country is everybody gets to tell their story. Now now that reporter may have said he was tracked down or he was tracking this guy. And, and the other stories are like this kid was cutting through people's yards, not taking the regular sidewalk. 
he was cutting through people's yards. You know, he was looking a little suspicious, even to the point that he looked in somebody's window. Okay. Mm. So, so we need to listen to testimony right. because it could, and we all, we don't have two sides because that, that, Trayvon's true. not here. I, I can see why that. So that's just what I'm saying that, with that, this that, one, girls, I, I have, I have no preconceived notion as to who's guilty and who's innocent, but I'm excited. I got a new trial. <laughs> so anyway, that's my catch up. I know. All right, Sarah. My catch up's pretty quick. Uh, Callie Gay is back. And so I've been fucking like crazy. Yep. Like crazy. Oh, and by the way, every special sheet that we own, I've ruined them all. Well, I got to tell you something. You're going to hate the new special sheet I'm making. Why? Because it is really thick, and I don't think you're going to be able to wash it. That's why I put it down for a while, because it was frustrating the fuck out of me. Oh, yeah. I don't think you're going to be able to put it in the washing machine. That's right. Hose, it, hose the motherfucker down. But what well, about just sewing anyway. a bunch of mini pads together? <laughs> <laughs> They're absorbent. Or, or, or cutting them open and pulling out that absorbent sheet that's in the middle of them, right? Because well, it's just we a have another thin... plan. We went to the fabric store and we've made a plan, and I'm working on it. But I'm, and I'll have it done for you on Tuesday when you come over. But um, I think you're going to be frustrated with it. Okay. Mm. Well, so be, anyway, but it was can't a prototype. Can't be any more frustrating than washing my sheets every time I have sex. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Tile floors, so. fuck on the floor. You know then how, all you need is a mop. Do you know how much that's going to hurt his knees and my back? Oh, there's you can you can fold towels like four or five times for padding. Pillows, pillows. Well, oh, then you have to wash air the goddamn mattress. pillows. Oh yeah, with her air mattress and then hose it off. An air mattress oh, has oh, a good oh. idea. Air mattresses have a weight limit, and me and him together usually over the weight limit. That's true. Well, good. Find one that's not where well, you're not over the weight limit. Oh, no matter how much bounce. Yeah, you're, you're talking about a thousand dollar bed there. Yeah, wow. I might as well just buy a bed. Well, they're buying. <laughs> they've already spent a thousand dollars worth of sheets. No, not quite. Wait, I got a question. Okay. You Can you that? buy Wait, one of those not huge quite. mattress covers like they have on cribs that zip, and then if you took your sheets off, you just wash that off with some spray, and then you wouldn't have to like. <laughs> we got those well, sheets. I have, I have a, I have a waterproof <clears throat> mattress pad on my bed, which keeps the actual mattress from getting ruined. Um, but it is that and my sheets that I have to wash constantly. And eventually that's going to break down my well, water. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell the viewers this. They brought me their, their sex sheet with the, that they use the, the discount code on. Okay. And this girl says she soaked through the damn thing. I took the whole thing apart and I get to the middle layer, which is the waterproof layer. And I, I held it up to the light. I'm looking for a hole, a crack, nothing. How the fuck she soaked this thing? I got no clue. So I'm putting it back together with an even thicker middle. But I'm t I gave it to her. I go, you and Callie guy, check and see if you find a hole or a rip or a tear anywhere in this thing. And all I got to say is, Mama, you be wet. Mm. <laughs> very, very, very. Usually when we get done with sex, he is wet from the nipples to his <laughs> knees, front and back. And I am usually wet from my um, belly button to my knees, front and back. 1970s. Wow. Usually. Slip, wow. slip and slide. Hey, there you go. Well, well one of the things away. I've thought about is getting rubber sheets, because they do make a rubber sheet that you can lay down. That's usually when you're, you know, piss play and all of those other things. You don't want fluids to get anywhere. The problem with that is... It's not just that we don't want water to get down onto the mattress. It's that we don't want to be splashing around in it yeah, either. Yeah. So we need like an absorbent layer on there too. That would not be water. Just <laughs> no, it's not, not water. Just saying. It's pussy juice. It's pus It's mango juice, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was an evil laugh. Greatest story ever. I had her children over uh, while Daniel was in the hospital and they needed breakfast. I fed them breakfast. They wanted something to drink. And I said, I have milk, I have water, and I have, I have juice. <laughs> and they said, what kind of juice? And I really had to gear myself up to tell them I have mango juice. <laughs> And they said, we want mango juice. I said, oh, mama is going to kill me. <laughs> I poured them all mango juice. They spent all morning. This is the best mango juice ever. Can I have another glass of mango juice? I love your mango juice. <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to laugh. I had tears in my eyes. It was so hilarious. And I'm like, uh, 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 mama's yeah, going to kill she, me. And she told this story the first time I heard it was yesterday. 
in a room full of family. <laughs> where we really and keep our where family life. We try to keep that shit separate, separate from here. And his mother and father are sitting there and we're talking and we're laughing because of obviously we can't hold it in. And we're like, fuck, how do we do this? Like, is that why I'm... your mother served canned fruit that said, um, she and there's mangoes mango in, in here? Yeah. Oh, no, they said something about it. My mom's trying to figure out, what are they laughing about? Right. And I was not going to elaborate. She goes, well, this is an adult. So if the kids want to step out, I was like, no, they don't need to step out because my parents know right. that we have a life yeah, outside we, of the show. I got to tell you, show. Mama and Alexia and myself did talk to your mother about oral sex, didn't we? We did. Yes, we did. Look at him. <laughs> well, we were, we were, we well, were, to, we were in your to, bedroom when we did it. Right. We were, we were, talk, we were trying to talk like around kind of the, the subject, subject and she stopped what she was doing because she was sitting on the computer and she turned around and said, wait a minute, wait a minute, I missed something. What are you talking about? <laughs> and, and I'm like, and like and I'm should like, I tell her? I'm like, <laughs> fuck. He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Look, here's, oh, here's what I've learned about parents. About Michael Douglas stories. At some point, your parents are going to tell you about their sex life. No. Oh, hell no. My mother has it, and I don't want to know. Nope. They will. Oh, I, I know how big my mom's boyfriend <laughs> is. I'm like, Mom, I don't want to hear it. They my all do it have, at some point. I know my One parents day, have your eight. mother never had senile, sex and they'll talk about it. That's well, what's going to happen. Mother, I know my parents have eight kids. I know they're fucking, but, you know, we, hey, we, we're Catholic, which means Me too. that we fuck. But we just were the biggest prudes in the world. But yeah, we have a whole bunch of kids. Go ahead, Armin. So I just think you should be more open about your sex life with other people. Yeah, other people. I agree. That's what the show is for. for. It, was just, it was just hilarious because she turned her whole chair around and she was all in. Like, let so, me tell so you. Uh, yeah, we was. were we were talking about uh, it was one of the things that I wanted to talk about tonight. Um, Michael Douglas claims that he has throat cancer from. Oral sex. Eating pussy. From eating pussy. Now, when I first posted this, uh, when I first posted this, I was like, what the fuck? Really? Come on now. Not all the years of drinking, not all the years of smoking, none of that caused you oral cancer. None of the crack cocaine, none of the other shit. eating pussy. And then I was, circ- I was looking through all the articles and I found a Time article. I happened to trust Time magazine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And... It says it's true. The The title of the article says it's true. You can get throat cancer from oral sex. And he's talking about the HPV virus, which we have been having, women have been fight, having a fight for mandatory HPV virus vaccinations for young girls. Yes. And nobody wants to approve it. Nobody wants to approve it. This article states that 60% of all oral cancer comes from the HPV virus. Because sixty wow. percent. For those of you who don't know, that's the human pampiloma pampiloma virus, and it causes ninety percent of all cervical cancers. But right. I can get a vaccine now too myself, right? No, you're too old. You're too now old. it has to be in puberty. Yeah. It has now to be Sierra puberty. informed us that they now have an HPV vaccine for boys. You have right. to ask for it, and it's it's not common now because Probably it's very just come out. Too. Um, it should be covered under insurance. Uh, they can't cover the girls and not cover the boys um but your pediatrician may not have it they may have to refer you to someone who does so kudos to michael douglas for finding another reason to have throat cancer other than smoking or drinking or no or for just going down on his woman all the goddamn time so (laughs) lucky Catherine zeta jones i bet you he he knows his abcs Now, speaking speaking of mouth problems, uh, one of the articles I found today was a new diet fad that's going on, and it's uh, a surgical implant of uh, uh, like a bandage on your tongue, so that, you- to, that it makes it hurt you to eat solid food. What the motherfuck? Right. So, it, can, can you, you see, see this, this picture? picture? Can you no. see this picture? Hold on, let me swing. You gotta oh, see this. It's God. nasty looking. It's, it's called a tongue patch. All you gotta do is uh, Google tongue patch. It's all over the internet right now, and it's a patch that is surgically put onto your tongue, stitched on there. I stay fat. And then they give you a oh, liquid diet that. with all your uh, what nutrients and everything. What difference is that? And remember when they used to no. wire your jaw shut? Right. No, it's the same the, kind of thing, no, the right? Pop, the problem is. They've so made stupid. they've made the food so easy that they they make the food easy to eat, which means the easier it is, the easier it is, which means you don't have to chew your food. Right. I am absolutely exhausted after eating my salad. Right. I've, I, only, yeah, salad. I've only eaten about 250 calories, but I'm exhausted because I had to chew 
Doesn't oh, that's sorry. Really I had to chew something. every single bite. Right. And that's that's tiring. Now, when you can stay, I can swallow f- three Snicker bars in five minutes. Because I don't have to chew it. I just. Yeah, pop, my, pop, my pop. Big Macs go down pretty <laughs> fucking easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They do. They do. You take a bite, you take a couple chews and swallow, swallow, swallow. Oh, yeah, you're right. So the problem is that they, you don't have to chew your food anymore. And the food companies do that shit on purpose. Yeah. Vendetta says he's had his jaw wired shut. Really? How did you like that? Was that, was that a medical problem? Uh, something like that? Some people yeah. used to do oh, it for so, weight loss. And there's a couple of other news stories. They're all on the Dame Vegas page. If you're on Facebook and you follow my Dame Vegas, you can uh, you can follow me there or you can ask to be my friend. I don't guarantee that I'll be your friend, but you can follow. Um, but I post a lot of articles up there. So you can see all the articles that I talk about on the show because I usually always post them. So I have them handy for when I want to talk to them. So my sex life is always awesome. You know, um, I, I was sitting in uh, the office uh, having lunch with uh, my boss and um, Sierra the other day. And I, I had to know, and I'm asking everybody here and in chat, when you have sex, do you have visions? No. Does your mind go and, and see pictures, moving pictures in your head or anything like that? Sometimes. No. I only see Batman going behind the couch. That's no. the moving <laughs> picture. But, but, but that's, that's an actual real thing, right? right? So one of the answers that I got was, yes, they have them, but it has to do with the sex. So like the sex goes a little bit further in that. In that. While you're having the sex, you have the vision? Now, Silent Mike, this is not the first time Silent Mike has given me visions while we have sex. Wow. And, but, and Sierra calls them like what did what did you call it the other day like Vision uh, Quest? visionary yeah. uh, visionary orgasmic something or other so, where I was telling the future it's not, it's not anything like that but I remember the very first time it happened all I saw was browns chocolates and and they're usually like highway scenes where I'm traveling it's like I'm having an out of body experience right wow. and I'm I'm cruising along and I've got foliage behind me and but I'm moving there and I don't see the actual road but I see the sky I see the the sun or the moon or whatever's there I see the foliage Can I have sex with Silent Mike please? I'm telling you right <laughs> please? And, then, and then the other day it was all white I knew everything was white. So I'm I'm traveling along this thing and there's white foliage, but all the shadows are like blues and purples and uh, and things like this. And Is this during your orgasm? This is d- during the sexual act all of it. I wow. wouldn't I, I wouldn't be able to handle that because if I suddenly found myself in a dirt road somewhere, I'd completely lose track of my orgasmic stretch but see that i don't see the road i see myself traveling i i don't know like if it's a road or something i am traveling down this path it's like i'm floating or flying i don't i don't have i don't, care if I don't have any around by a donkey it would still fuck Mom, with my i don't mind. have any yeah. cognizant one of the mama sees is, is, is her eyelids i don't have any cognizant recognition of me it's just, it's just this, it's like this vision thing that I have. Wow. I've never heard anybody do that, have that during So sex. I'm freaking weird. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's either that. Maybe or, I'm, or I'm thinking. Now wait, did this happen to you before Silent Mike or is it just with Silent Mike? It's, I, I've only been conscious of it with Silent Mike. So. All right. So maybe he's got some kind of spiritual voodoo magic something. Oh. It's that magic penis he's got. Because <laughs> it, it makes coffee he, really good. He said, he said <laughs> So the girls are so going to say that. <laughs> so. It's Mike's magic penis. <laughs> we need to patent well, quick. that. Yeah, that gives a little bit of difference than that movie Magic Mike. Oh. Like a whole new movie. Uh, Vendetta says he broke his jaw during his crazy blank days and he had it wired shut before his surgery. Oh, wow. You guys in chat have been great. Thank you it's so much. It's been a much. great show. It's been great a good show. show. Uh, a Phil. Show. Filled. And you know what? We're sorry you had you had to have a heart attack for us to have a great show, but thanks. Well, actually, but <laughs> most guys don't know. I know you guys got to get off the air, but um, it was interesting that after Mama knew I was better, she almost started crying all over again because we were having some smallish issues that we were going to have to address. And then I had my heart attack, and when we got better, she's like, "Oh crap!" Now you got to now, now you got to address them. Go <laughs> talk about the stuff that yeah. we're having. Issues. I thought you were dying. It was over. <laughs> So that's to come from Mama. Okay. <laughs> I love them. I love them. Thick says it may have been the oxygen supply being reduced to the brain and endorphins being released, or he's putting acid on the tip. Either way, good on you. <laughs> this is Alexia, Mama, Sweet Cheek, and Sierra wishing you all a good night. And remember, fuck, fuck often. often. Don't. don't.
The Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City Radio Show is brought to you by VegasAllNetRadio.com, the final frontier of free speech. Get your own damn show by BBW Fan Fest 2013, July 26th, 27th, and 28th in fabulous Las Vegas. Visit